people ask me, well, so what kind of music is it? I'm like, oh, well, I don't know. I gotta say it's punk. It's, it's punk rock, but we have like our own tweaks on it. You know, we're a punk band. I don't think it started like that. I think we had a certain sound that we wanted to do at first, which was like almost three years ago now. But just according to everybody's influences, it just kind of turned into what it is now, which is mostly punk, with, but also like a little bit of metal in there. First of all, like me and Leo, we used to jam with this band called Super Cobra back in Juarez. That was a long time ago. That was back in 2002. What we did in Super Cobra was like rock and roll, like straight up rock and roll. And what we're doing now is like more like we're experimenting more on, on what we're playing. Oh, the name? Oh. Leo was the one that goes like, hey, how about Nalgadas? At first I was like, Nalgadas? I don't know, that sounds kind of weird. He's like, nah, dude, just listen to the, the way it sounds, Nalgadas. Our whole thing at first was just, we thought it'd be cool to have a name in Spanish where people would have a hard time saying it. So we were just, you know, sitting around, throwing up a bunch of names. And I said, I, I said Nalgada actually, singular, as a joke, really. And everybody kind of liked it. We laughed about it and it stuck. I'm kind of embarrassed sometimes to say it, but everybody just kind of laughs about it and, and says, oh, cool name. The themes of our songs. It can range from something as serious as living in Juarez to something as funny as a dog bite. But what I like about what Pato does is that he doesn't really write in a way that you know what the song's about. So everybody can kind of interpret it the, whatever way they want. You know, I'm really bad with lyrics. Sometimes I try to like write my lyrics and I'm like, damn, I don't have nothing to talk about. I do write about like, my city, like where I used to live over there in Juarez, because it's not a mellow place to live in. I mean, it, like life over there is fast. People aren't partying all the time. But you know how Juarez bars are. They're like, oh, like, you know, like really shady. <laughs> like, but that was part of the, I don't know, that was part of the mystique, because it was awesome. And, and there's a element of sleaziness, I guess. But yeah, we still play in Juarez. We want to do a, a show in Juarez, like in the Juarez Strip. So hopefully that happens because uh, I really want that Juarez sleazy scene to happen again. That's where me and Leo came out of, so we just want that back again. We're going to have this album come out hopefully in the next couple months. It's going to be our debut album. It's going to be called Cuba. The tape should come out on Burger Records and the vinyl should be out on Mother of Pearl Vinyl, which is a, a label here locally. Everything like happened and we're just glad. It's like something that you love and other people appreciate it. And when people like really respond to what you're doing, I think that's, that's great. When you see the crowd like, oh, just like cheering you or just going wild, that, that's a good feeling. I mean, if you, play, if you ever play in a band and you see people responding to that, it feels good. Yeah.